Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dream Reaver 23 here with episode 26 of Let's Play Minecraft. I am using Buildcraft, Industrial Craft, Red Power, and Equivalent Exchange for my mods that I'm using on this. So I'm showing you how to kind of use all of these together. Now, if you watched my last video, you saw that I did make my automatic diamond factor, uh, crafting factory up here. Uh, but, and as you can see, it kind of goes all the way down to where I get diamonds coming out of the end. Now, this is a pretty good factory, but I have still a lot of uh, dirt coming down here and gravel. So I want to get those to where they are producing cobblestone as well, because dirt to me is useless. I have a lot of it and I don't want it. So I'm going to make this... Actually, I'm going to cut this down to where it's only one block wide. I'll do that right now. Uh, and I can see some of y'all saying, well, you know, why don't you use the, uh, area right there for something else? Um, because essentially whenever I have this, to, it's going to be done. It's going to be splitting off right before it with a diamond pipe, which I can actually do that now. Do, 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 do. And I will have the other stuff kind of coming off right here. So, um, the only thing that's going to be going through right here now is going to be dirt. What is that? What color was that? Yellow. So, yellow is going to be coming out right here. Everything else should be going inside the box. For right now, let me use this little chest. <clears throat> just to store some shit in. And right now we'll stick the gravel in there. I don't need any of you right now. Ooh, I do need my philosopher stones. Bop, 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 bop. All right. So we are going to make this happen, like so. All right. So the first thing that you need to do <coughs> before anything is you need to get a chest, which I just used. So we'll go ahead and make a chest, and then we're going to go ahead and make the crafting table over here as well. Uh, for that, I need some sticks and some wood. Now, the crafting table is simply four wood planks. You also need to make four wooden gears. And then we'll put the crafting table right here in the middle. One, two, three, four. Voila, we have an automatic crafting table. Now, for this... Fuck, I didn't make my chest. Come on, guys. You're supposed to remind me of these things. Uh, dun 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 dun. And you'll see why I make the chest here in just a second. If you didn't watch the last video, this one, or even if you did watch the last video, this one will kind of explain the reason why, or the reasoning behind it. So we're going to put our chest right here behind. And then we're going to grab our automatic crafting table right there in front. Now, the other thing is that your chest, see how I wasn't able to click on it, but now I am. If you have a block covering the top, it won't open, which also means that it won't actually uh, take anything out of here that you put in. So, what we're going to do is come over here, we'll grab our stairs, because I like my shit to look uniform. I like it to look nice. Is that a crime? No, I don't think so. If we put the staircase to where it's facing opposite, so the back side of it's out here, it just looks like a regular block of wood, a uh, regular cobblestone block, which is kind of what I'm going for with my theme. <coughs> but, you can still click on it. Now inside here we're going to put a philosopher's stone inside the chest 
and then we're going to grab a philosopher's stone and put it in the crafting table. Now we need to make sure that whatever is up here is going to produce the cobblestone. So that whenever, come over here, whenever we have um, the the this pattern fills out so this philosopher stone is going to just kind of stay recycling the dirt's going to come in here and you're going to see I have a piece of dirt coming in now so it will add boop, one more to it once all these get two on here then it'll drop out two cobblestone and that will actually end up going I'm going to send it right up top. Actually, I'm going to send it right straight up because I have room right there. And I need one more thing that I don't have on me. And that are iron, that is, that are, that is iron transport pipes. And I'll show you why I need that here in just a second. Also need my wrench. So let's get this coming out. So I have it adjoining, but as of right now, Whatever comes out of here can go either way. I don't want it to go either way. So I'm going to put an iron transport pipe, grab my wrench, and adjust it out. Now the silver sides, the sides that are grayed, they won't go, basically those are saying one way. It's going to go to the clear side. So all this is just going to go to the clear side. <coughs> Let me come pick this one up. And voila. So, for right now, I'm actually going to just take all these and make it on my own. Now, oddly enough, I can't shift click to send this stuff up here. It, it works on some things, it doesn't work on others. It's kind of weird. Now, you're saying, Derek, but it's not going, it's not doing anything. That is true, and it's because I need to have a wooden transport pipe with a redstone engine underneath it to kind of suck everything out of there. That is not it, so let me grab. I should have some somewhere. There we go. And I have one redstone engine on me, luckily, and a redstone torch. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off, put my wood transport pipe, um, I'm going to put this engine right behind it, and right below, I'll put my redstone. And you can see it's starting to take that cobblestone right out of there. It's good to go. And I'll just put it right up into the queue that goes alongside with it. And off she goes. So this is just another way of getting it to where you're really taking advantage of everything coming out of the system. Ooh. So 
now we still have gravel in here. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see, gravel turns into. What does gravel turn into? Gravel turns into flint. Flint can be used for mace raiders and stuff. But right now, I'm pretty happy with just having to where the dirt isn't being used because you can use you can use the flint for other things as well. And so I'd like to actually be able to use that whenever I need to. Alright, so no more dirt in my inventory. Do I have any over here? Yes, I do. Alrighty, Roo. Bum, 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 bum. You take you. So I'm going to clear all this back out. Get my gravel back in here. So the same uh, pattern, I guess, works the same exact way it does up here in the Philosopher's Stone being back behind in the chest. Having the wood, you know, the wood transport pipes with the uh, <coughs> uh, redstone engines and the auto crafting table. Same patterns. It's the same exact thing that goes on up top. It's just a one version of it. <coughs> so instead of having tons of stuff going on, I have just this one that to converts the dirt into cobblestone and puts it back to the system. So if you didn't get a good view of it last time, Cobblestone comes into here with the Philosopher's Stone. This is a uh, staircase. There's a chest behind it with a Philosopher's Stone in there. It's just one item in the chest. So that's why I didn't use an alchemical chest. Just because I'm putting one item in there. I don't need to worry about it. There's nothing else going into it. It outputs redstone ore using the same thing, the wooden transport pipe. Um, cobblestone uh, transport pipe and then the redstone engine. With the red power, I actually have, this is my switch that turns the whole system on or off. So you can see that they're not pumping, pumping. That moves along to the next one from the cobblestone to one with all of the redstone ore in the same pattern. Philosopher's Stone, the Philosopher's Stone in the chest behind it, it pumps out two iron ore. And we can see the end product now, <coughs> the diamond, goes to the electric furnace, which has a generator on the back, and gets moved into my alchemical chest down here. Where is he walking from? I can hear him walking. Motherfucking creeper. Why is he walking though? How did he get in? Let me first go to sleep. I don't want to deal with everything out there. <sighs> so I'm going to be providing myself with some more light in this bitch because I don't want fucking creepers in here. At least he's on this side to where there's really nothing. <laughs> Bastard. So let me drop down, clean Ooh. this up. That door was locked. Why the hell did how did how did he get in? Still got all my diamonds. I'm happy. I can seal this back up in a jiffy. <laughs> mm 
that was a minor setback. Um, I need to provide more light in here. I think that's what the big problem is. Get it? A minor setback? <laughs> Minecraft mining. <laughs> you guys suck. You got no sense of humor. It's like I'm talking to myself over here. <laughs> Anyways, so... Another short episode, guys. I don't know if you guys are liking the shorter episodes or you want them to be longer. I don't know what's going on. So give me a holler. Let me know. For right now, though, I showed you how to set up the automatic crafting table and how to fully use it completely. Whoa. Something's got changed. Something got changed, and I don't know what it was. I actually do know what it was. These flip around. Uh, damn it. So the. Uh, I'm glad I didn't sign off. Always make sure, because like whenever I flip the switch, it started changing the direction of this. Anytime that it's turned on or off, that direction changes for the iron pipe. So it was telling itself, hey, wait, no, I'm going to send my stuff back, you know, some other way. So, yeah. Good thing I saw that. I need to actually change that around to where that's maybe moved in a little bit. Get my build craft items put back away into their chest. Um, my wrench. Stone transport pipe. Iron transport pipe. There we go. Industrial craft. Get all this stuff put back away. Look at this one pipe right there. Oh, this stuff is all mixed up. I need to go through and organize this. I think I'm going to do that before the next episode. So. <coughs> All right, so that should be everything, guys. If you do have any more questions about anything, send me a message, drop me a line, thumbs up this video. If you like the video series, subscribe. I'm pretty much putting out one every day, every other day. Um, and if you guys want to see certain things, like how to build certain things, even if I don't know, fuck, I'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this shit out together. I don't give a damn. Hmm, I think my quarry over here is done. Time to set up a new one. Yes, sir. Down to bedrock. That's what I like to see. Go ahead and turn off this pump. And that one is still going to town. That's good. That's good. All right, guys. So I am taking off this time. Uh, it is what three in the morning. Two thirty. <clears throat> So I probably should get some sleep. Good news, I did get all my ho homework finished for college, and uh, I worked today. I got everything taken care of, so that's all good. But I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with a new video. I'll get these uploaded tonight, so you'll actually, I guess, see them tomorrow. And happy Halloween, guys. I need to go find a pumpkin so I can make it a jack-o'-lantern because it is officially Halloween day. So, until next time, guys, I will see you. This is Dream Reaver 23. Um, thanks for joining me. Bye.